What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Royal King Brian, aka Brian, and today we are going to have ourselves a vision board video. So, today we're going to talk about what our goals are for 2020, how we're going to accomplish our goals in 2020. But not only are we gonna do a vision board for 2020, we're also gonna write a letter to ourselves for December of 2020 and see if we can achieve the goals that we setting in January for 2020. So let's go. All right, y'all, but before we do that, I need to shout out Starbucks and we need to make a coffee because I cannot do any work without coffee. So big shout out to Peric because I use this thing every single day. And here it comes. And shout out to our Dynasty mug. The only reason I'm not using the Dynasty mug is because I want a lot of coffee. As you can see, there's a big size difference. So I'm getting a venti opposed to getting a grande with a Dynasty cup. But now let's go. So I want to talk to you guys about YouTube, 10,000 subscribers. Um, I feel like we've been on YouTube for a really long time now. and. I feel like we should have had more subscribers. We definitely have not been as consistent as we hope to be. And this year I'm making a huge effort, huge effort to be more consistent on YouTube. Just because I feel like it's the most important part of our business. It's not the most profitable part of our business, but if YouTube goes well, I feel like everything in here will go well. Um, 720 credit score, 720 credit score is basically because when I bought my BMW, my credit score was 720, and that's the highest that I've ever had it. So, um, I know it's obtainable. I've done that before. I would love to get it higher, but right now I'm aiming for 720 because I bought my car like three years ago, and that's the last time my credit score was 720. So, it's not that. It's not bad at all, but it's not 720, so I want to get it to 720. The Dynasty Media Masterclass is my main focus, which is why I'm putting it in the middle. I want to focus more on my business, my apparel brand, as you can see in the background. And as you guys can see, 97% 97, 97 of people who quit are employed by the 3% that never gave up. I'm reading it backwards on here, so that's why it's not that, you know, I'm reading it backwards on the screen. Um, but yeah, I want to focus on my business. I want that to become my full-time thing, which as you guys can see, my next one will be work from home. And my very next video is called No More 9 to 5. So that's a hint on what my next video is going to be about. But yeah, I'll basically be working from home now, um, which will give me more time to focus on my business, which will give me more time to create more videos like this one. And that means a lot less going out since I'm going to be home which will help reduce shopping. So my credit scores will probably go up. Um, this one right here is definitely crucial. This is something I got from Meek Mill's Instagram page. It's Meek Mill, Michael Rubin, um, Jay-Z, a couple of other famous people. I'm not sure if you can see them in there. But basically, I just want to be more, be surrounded by more, be surrounded by like-minded people more often. Sorry about that, I was butchering that shit. But yeah, I wanna be around people that motivate me more, that push me to do what I wanna do more. Um, one thing, I'm gonna make a video talking about 2019 in general, but in 2019, I wasn't around many people that were into what I was into. So that kind of caused like a conflict up here. So, um, I definitely want to be around more like-minded people, people who think like me, who want to do the same thing as me. And that goes to our end goal, our end goal, buy a house in California in 2020. Um, as anybody who knows me knows that I've lived in New York all 30 years of my life, and I think it's time for a change. This vision board is part of a huge change. Um, and I want to get a house in California house with a pool hopefully so um that's my vision board now we're just gonna put it together 
the reason why I made so many of the same one is in case I lose the vision board. And the second reason why I have so many is because I'm gonna place the same picture over and over and over on the vision board just because I want it to remind me of like, hey, you have, you have to focus on this. There's nothing else to focus on. Do not get distracted by other stuff that come up. I thought about all my goals. I actually had a list of 15 and I cut them down to six. The reason I cut them down to six is because I, the other goals will come if these come along. So I don't wanna make, I don't wanna make too many goals. I wanna make goals that will eventually help achieve the other goals that I have, um, which is gonna be the second half of this video. It's gonna be a letter to myself. Um, I'm writing, it's January currently, and I'm writing a letter to myself, and I will not open that letter until December, which will obtain more goals than just six that I wanna accomplish. And we're gonna talk about that in the second half of this video. So right now, let's make this vision board. y'all so that's my vision board and as you can see in the middle we put 2020 royal king brian's vision board and as you can see i have five bullet points basically the five bullet points are things that i have to do in order to achieve the things in my vision board so number one is have big dreams you always got to have big dreams without dreams none of these will ever come true because you're gonna be stuck on what you're currently doing. So once you have big dreams, you gotta turn those dreams into goals. Something that's like, okay, I have a goal of doing this. How do you set a goal? You gotta put a deadline to it. So once you put a deadline to your goals, the only thing left to do after that is to plan out how it is that you're gonna achieve these goals and these deadlines. So after you have a plan, this is where most people get stuck at. They just plan their stuff out. The fifth one is the most important one, is take action. Because without action, your dreams, your goals, the deadlines that you're making and the plans will never get made at all. They will never come to fruition without action. So if I take steps one, two, three, four, five, there's no reason why these six things on my vision board cannot come true. Um, so I'm gonna go into my Dynasty Notepad, Super Plug. Oh, so as I go into my Dynasty Notepad, I already wrote a letter to myself. Letter to myself, 2020, and I have extra things in here that are not a part of my vision board, but. Everything that is on my letter is only attainable if I achieve these things. So again, this is priority. And I know once I obtain these goals, these six goals, most of the things on this letter to myself will be made and achieved as well. So that will be six goals turned into 15 goals. So what is the biggest difference with the letter to myself and 2020? These are deadline goals. These could be all completed by the end of the year. These have to be met basically before the year is over in order for me to achieve these. So these have pictures. It's to remind myself, constant reminder. Hey, every single day, you need to focus on these things. Um, then this should be no problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out. I'm gonna fold it up.
So as you can see, there's a signature at the end of this note. This is where you get someone that you trust, someone that's reliable, someone that's gonna hold you accountable if you're not reaching for your aspirations and your dreams. So this is Royal Queen. The Nelly signature, she read the letter to myself already. And her job is basically to remind me of what's in here because I will not be able to see this again until December. Um, the only reminders that I will have is these things on the vision board. So that's basically my vision board. Those are my plans for 2020. Those are my goals. What are your goals? I'm kind of interested in knowing what are my viewers' goals for 2020? What are your aspirations? Make sure you leave it down in the comment section. Please give the video a thumbs up or like. It helps with the algorithm, which helps us gain subscribers and grow bigger as a channel. So if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And like I said, the next video is going to be titled No More 9 to 5. And I will speak more on that in the next video. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. It's your boy, Royal King Brian, a.k.a. Brian. Shout out my brand, Dynasty Always. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.